Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 10 places to visit in New York. One of the greatest cities in the world, New York is always a whirlwind of activity, with famous sites at every turn and never enough time to see them all. Some people come here to enjoy the Broadway shows, others come specifically to shop and dine, and many come simply to see the sites, the Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, Brooklyn Bridge, Central Park, historic neighborhoods, and numerous world-famous museums. Many of the best places to visit in New York are within walking distance of each other, or just a short ride away, making this city a delight for sightseeing. Some of the newer tourist attractions that have opened in New York in recent years, like the High Line and One World Observatory, offer unique perspectives of the city. Any time of year and any time of day or night there are an endless array of things to see and do in New York. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 10 places to visit in New York. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 10 places to visit in New York. Number 10 on the list of places to visit in New York is Times Square. Lined with huge, brilliantly lit billboards and screens, Times Square is the place to go in New York in the evening, but still exciting at any time of day. This is the location of New York's New Year's Eve celebrations and the famous ball drop at midnight, when the square and surrounding streets are filled with people. Times Square is busy and perpetually crowded but has its own unique appeal. Bleachers set up at one end are a great place to take a break and appreciate the scene. Formerly Longacre Square, Times Square was named in 1904 after the New York Times Tower. The newspaper first posted current headlines along its moving sign, the first of its kind in the world, in 1928. Number 9 on the list of places to visit in New York is American Museum of Natural History. One of New York City's best museums for a family outing, the American Museum of Natural History has something to entertain everyone. Eight permanent exhibit halls showcase all that's interesting about the natural environment of our planet, from science and the environment to animals and fossils. The museum also hosts special exhibits that run for a set block of time. Some of the current exhibits that are well worth seeing include one on sharks, featuring models of these amazing creatures that you can actually touch. Another fascinating display is the rare 22 karat Akavango Blue Diamond. A highlight of any visit is a stroll through the Butterfly Conservatory. Inside this warm and humid climate controlled building, you'll share the space with 500 fluttering butterflies. Number 8 on the list of places to visit in New York is High Line. An exciting, and recently expanded, attraction in New York City, the High Line is a former rail line that has been transformed into an urban walking trail above the city streets. This unique linear public park has been planted with a variety of plants and trees, many of which are native species. In spring many of these come into bloom. The park is lined with glass railings in most areas, giving it a natural feel, while still offering outstanding views of the city. This oasis on Manhattan's west side runs from Gansford Street at the south end, just south of West 13th Street, to West 34th Street at the north end, running parallel to 10th Avenue most of the way. You can access it at various points along the route, some of which offer stair access only, and others with elevator access. Number 7 on the list of places to visit in New York is 9-11 Memorial and Museum. The World Trade Center's twin 110-story towers once dominated the Manhattan skyline but were destroyed by suicide-piloted jetliners on September 11, 2001, with a tragic loss of life. Where the two towers of the World Trade Center once stood, now stand two square reflecting pools, each one acre in size. Known as the National September 11 Memorial, the area is a moving tribute to the almost 3,000 people killed as a result of attacks on September 11, 2001 and also the six people killed in the earlier World Trade Center bombing in February, 1993. Surrounded by trees and grass, the pools are recessed, with water cascading over the sides and flowing into a seemingly bottomless square. These are the largest man-made waterfalls in North America. Around the pools are bronze panels with the names of all those who were killed in the attacks. Number 6 on the list of places to visit in New York is Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is one of New York's most famous landmark buildings and key tourist attractions. The 381-meter-tall, 102-story building was the tallest in the world until the One World Trade Center tower rose higher, 41 years later. Topped with a mooring mast for airships, the Empire State Building immediately became a landmark and a symbol for NYC when it opened in 1931. 
There are actually two observatories atop the Empire State Building, but both offer astounding views. On clear days, you can see up to 80 miles, looking into the neighboring states of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. The 86th floor observatory, 1,050 feet, is the city's highest open-air observation deck and what most people are expecting to find when they go up the Empire State Building. If it feels familiar, it's because this area has been featured in countless movies and TV shows. Number 5 on the list of places to visit in New York is Broadway and the Theater District. Attending a Broadway show is one of the top things to do in New York City. Considered the pinnacle of American theater, this is the place to see the latest shows and the long-running classics. Broadway usually refers simply to Broadway theater, which encompasses a large number of theater venues in the theater district and along the street of Broadway. For the most popular shows, tickets should be purchased well in advance. Schubert Alley is a famous pedestrian-only alley in the theater district and home to two well-known playhouses, the Schubert on 221 West 44th Street and the Booth at 22 West 45th Street. Historically, aspiring actors would frequent Schubert Alley looking for opportunities to perform in a play sponsored by theater baron, Samus Schubert. Number 4 on the list of places to visit in New York is Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Metropolitan Museum of Art, or the Met, as it is commonly known, was founded in 1870 and is one of the most famous museums in the United States. The permanent collection of the Met contains more than 2 million works of art, spanning a period of 5,000 years. Although the museum has three sites, the centerpiece is the Met Fifth Avenue. Highlights of the collection include American decorative arts, arms and armor, costumes, Egyptian art, musical instruments, photographs, and much more. Exhibitions bring some of the world's most famous works to the public. If you are serious about your visit to the Met, consider a VIP, empty Met tour at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and see this incredible museum with just 25 people before it opens to the general public in the morning. Number 3 on the list of places to visit in New York is Rockefeller Center and top of the Rock Observation Deck. When it comes to New York attractions, Rockefeller Center is on almost all tourists' itineraries. This vast entertainment and shopping complex in the middle of Manhattan is home to NBC TV and other media, but the centerpiece is the 70-story 30 Rockefeller Plaza, an Art Deco skyscraper that offers awesome views over Manhattan from the famous top of the Rock Observation Deck. The deck, as it's known, includes three floors, located on the 67th, 69th, and 70th floors. Indoor and outdoor viewing spaces offer spectacular views by day or night. You can buy a Top of the Rock Observation Deck ticket in advance. These tickets come with a flexible voucher redemption policy, so you can change the date if your plans change or the weather doesn't cooperate. Number 2 on the list of places to visit in New York is Central Park. A walk, pedal, or carriage ride through the crisscrossing pathways of Central Park is a must-do on anyone's New York City itinerary. In winter, you can even lace up your skates and glide across Woolman Rink. This huge park in the city center, a half mile wide and 2.5 miles long, is one of the things that makes New York such a beautiful and livable city. Besides being a great place to experience a little nature, Central Park has many attractions within its borders, and most of them are free, making it one of the few cheap things to do in NYC. Some of the most popular places to visit include the Belvedere Castle, Strawberry Fields, the Central Park Zoo, and the lake. If you are exploring the park on your own, start by picking up a map at one of the visitor centers and plot your routing. Number one on the list of places to visit in New York is Statue of Liberty. America's most iconic site, the Statue of Liberty is at the top of every first-time visitor's list of things to do in New York. It was France's gift to America. Built in 1886, it remains a world symbol of freedom and is one of the top attractions in America. It is one of the world's largest statues, standing just under 152 feet tall from the base to the torch and weighing approximately 450,000 pounds. You can see the statue from land, with particularly good views from Battery Park, on the southern tip of Manhattan. However, to truly appreciate the Statue of Liberty, the best thing to do is to take a short boat trip to Liberty Island and see it up close. Take a pleasant stroll around the base, and if you have reservations, enter the pedestal. The crown remains closed as of writing. So, which is your favorite places among the top 10 places to visit in New York? Well, that's all we have for you today.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 10 places to visit in New York in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.